Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It's Mon no Sunday, March 24th, 2024. Why am I thinking it's Monday? Anyway, I have a 6 in rows 2 and 3. I can place a 6 in row 1, box 1. And that'll tell me where 6 goes in column 2, based on where they are in columns 1 and 3. As far as elsewhere within the top 3 rows, I can place a 2 in row 2 in one of two spots, excuse me, <clears throat> based on where they are in box one and three and rows one and three, respectively. I th now, I can place a nine in two spots in box two, but not the same two spots as the two, so I do not have a two nine pair there. I might have a two nine something triple if I can isolate some other digit to two of those three spots that two and nine are indicated in. If I can do that, then I have a hidden triple somewhere. But be that as it may, I have to go to the bottom, the next three rows. Two fives in rows five and six tell me where it goes in row four, and twos in rows four and five tell me where it goes in row six. There are seven, oh, I can place the seven in row seven, where they are in eight and nine. Seven in columns eight and nine tells me where the seven goes in column seven in one of two spots. 639484, four. okay, I can place a four in one of two spots in row eight. And then if I go vertically, six I've already done, two I can place one of two spots in column two, well, three spots actually. Uh, 9483765. So I can't do anything with the middle three columns. The rightmost three, I've already placed a 7. I can place a 9 in one of two spots. 7, 9, 9, 7, 9, 7, and beyond that, I have 1, 6, 5, 8, 2, 4. Okay, I'm done. Well, I have in, an interesting juxtaposition going on on twos and nines. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I have much in the way of crossings, do I? This eight looks over, this eight looks down, but I still have three spots for an eight in box eight. 7 looks up, but I still have 3 spots for a 7 in box 1. No, 8, 3, 7 look up. But the only one of those that cross, well, okay, 8 crosses. But that still leaves 1, 2, 3, 4 spots. And 3 crosses. But that still leaves one, two, three spots for a three. I can't do much. Let's see, seven and eight both look up there. Oh, an eight looks over here. There we go. Okay, so th these cells are rolled out, as is that one. So eight must go in one of those two in box three. That tells me one of these two in box two. Because there's an 8, and there's a virtual 8, so there's an 8. Let's see, this cell is rather restricted. That might be a hidden 4, because it sees 1, 2, 3 in its row, 5, 6, 7, 8 in its column, and 9 in its row. That's a hidden 4. Now that may prove useful, because that tells me where 4 goes in column 7. I need 1, 2, 3, and 9 to fill out for box 6. That one can only be 1 or 3 because it sees 2 and 9. This is 1, 3, 9. Unfortunately, that's any of them. No, that's not 9. Okay, so not, yeah, 9 is one of those two. And this cell is the one that can be any of them. Uh, 
two, three, six, eight, nine. I need one, four, five, and seven for those four cells in some fashion. And there's only two of them I can clean up. But six, three, nine, one, four, two. So this is now a triple. To finish out row one, we know eight's one of the digits. along with 5 and 7. Oh, and this is 7 and 8, that's a 5. Get rid of the corner 8s and the pencil marked 5s, and then I don't even need to do that because that's a triple I should have seen. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, 5 is definitely there in row 2. Excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, five, six, seven, eight in box two says I need one, two, three, four, nine. Those are one, three, four because they can't be two, nine. So they go like this. That's not three, that's not two, and... Yep, two's there, three's there, but one, three, four, have way too many possibilities. Okay, these cells are now a triple. Uh, one, two, four, five, six, nine, so these are three, seven, and eight. In some fashion. Column 9 looks attractive, I think. Yeah. 8 can only go here or here. Which strongly suggests, but does not prove, that this cell's an 8, because this cell, being an 8, is the only one that most makes that 2 and 8, one of those 2 and 8. But 2, 4, 5, 7, 9 placed, I need one. I need 1, 3, 6, and 8. That's any of them. Those two are one, three, six, because neither can be eight. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Good golly. I'm battling a frog in my throat this morning. Or it's something. Uh, row seven. Three, four, six, seven, nine placed. I need one, two, five, and eight. That's down to one or eight. It's these two and five. This one can be any of them. Same with that. That one's not two. Okay, that was not helpful. I hope I'm not going to run into a problem here. I might. Two, five, eight, nine in box five says I need one, three, four, six, seven. Neither of these two can be three or seven, so these are one, four, six. Those are one, three, six, seven. Neither can be four, but that's not seven. That's one, three, four, or seven, because that can't be six. And other than 7, which is an offset pair, everything else has at least two possibilities. Well, three. See, these are... Oh, 5 has to be one of those two. Doesn't it? In column 7, but... Box 9. Uh, 4, 7, 8, 9 placed. I need 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. Well, those are 2, 3, 5, and 6. Neither can be 1. These can be a whole bunch of things. And 
none of them are five or seven. By box logic, a one or nine by column logic. That one sees two once. That one sees two once. That one sees eight once. I've got one in three spots there. That's irritating. Those aren't three, four, seven. No, this is two, five, six, and eight. That's these two, five, six. Okay. So this is one, eight, nine. That suspiciously looks like a triple, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's not eight, nine. That's not five, eight. Yeah, and the only place I have a 5 is here. <gasps> 6 must go there. I'm going to argue for the sake of argument that that's a 189. Which means this can't be 8, that's 7. I'll play 7, 8. Which just proves the second way that's not 7. So this can't be 7, that one is. In box five, neither this nor this are one or nine. So that's not nine, which means that's a nine. That's two in row two. One, three, four, that's now a triple. That's left over. This isn't nine, which we knew already. Not two, that can't be one by logic. Yeah, that, okay, that can't be five or one, so that's six. This is two. That's not six. Okay, six isn't one of those two, and that's a triple. Excuse me. <clears> hmm. <throat> See, this is not two, that's not five, that's not five. Well, one eight pair makes that a two in row seven. Let's see, neither of these are six, and that's not two. So we've got six down there. And the bottom corner is a box nine. Okay, this might be helpful. Two, six, seven, eight. I haven't placed a four yet. Two, six, seven, eight are placed in the row. But that's not three, that's not nine. Which isn't terribly helpful. And these are not two, four, six, seven. That's 8 and 9 by given. That's these 3 by given. Okay, well, wait a minute. Okay, I've got 1 and 4 spots. 3. Oh, the 3's in there. That's irritating. This is almost a 1, 8, 9. But 9's in 3 spots. 8 is in 2 spots. So it's 3. I almost wanted to say... Well, 4 or 5 can't go there because of those 4 or 5s. This could still be five, couldn't it? I'm asking that. I think I incorrectly tried to assume that was a hidden four or five pair when both of those could still be five. Now let's see, two's there. But there's a five still here, so this can't be a two, five, six something. I wish it could. This one three and that one three doesn't don't even interact. <laughs> okay, these are not two, six, eight, nine. Not seven, not five, seven. Okay. 
Junior out. That takes five and nine by row. That takes five and eight by row. And seven. These ones aren't two, six, seven. That's anything that's not five, nine, that's not five, eight. I was hoping I'd have something useful, but I don't. Yeah, the middle third, three columns of this grid are quite helpful. It's everything else that's a problem. Ah, one can, can only be there in box two, which means that's not one. Yeah, so this is one, five, and either four or seven. I don't know which one yet. Column three, that can't be seven because of this. That's not seven by given there. Those aren't seven by that given seven, so that's a hidden seven. Right here, which tells me that's a four. That'll place one, three, four, and that should break open the rest of the puzzle because I'm now going to have enough digits. Okay, this can't be seven, so that one is box three. Uh, those aren't four, and that's not seven. Yeah, no, those are one five. Um, okay, three in column six makes that one. Nothing else can be. That's not three, that's not one. Okay, neither of those are one. Neither of those are one. Oh, four in column two, that can't be four, so that's a four. Four will place three. Not three, not three, not three, and not four. Okay, let's sound to a quad. Not three, four, and not three. Column three is down to a one, five. But the three's hidden, it goes here. Those cannot be three. These cannot be four. Okay, this seven and this seven force a seven to one of these two. That one can't be seven, so that's a seven. Seven's placed in column two. That places six. No, it doesn't. I thought it did, but it doesn't. I do three in row nine. We'll place the two. If we'll place the nine, the three. Well, we know that couldn't have been two or three. That's not three. That's not three. <laughs> oh, lovely. I've got a chocolate quad teapot there. I've got a quad in box six. I still haven't done anything with this 189, but 9 or 06 will place that 6, which will then place the 4. I come back over 2 to finish the row. 4 will place 8, 1, 
five, nine, eight. Oh, that's one five pair. This has a five looking at it, so that's a one. That's a five. That's forced to be a nine. Five, one. Five in row nine. We'll play six, one, three, five, four, eight, six, eight, three. And now we're just finishing up. You know, 20 minutes, not bad. Perhaps my explanations were a bit too verbose, but I had to look a little bit harder than usual to see a couple of hidden sevens, a hidden three, and a hidden four, and that four I only found by crossing. If I hadn't seen that, I'd have been sunk. But thank you for joining me this morning.